So here we are again. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be coming from, wherever you may be streaming, broadcasting, or coming in, you know, to the area from. Uh, if that made any sense. Uh, this live stream may or may not be for you, but consider this. YouTube taking away views, you know. Um, this is nothing new. People that have been on the platform for a while, you know, pretty much are going through the same thing. You know, when you put up a video, you know, you put out content, you know, let me drink my orange juice because brother a little sick still. Mm. Thank you for the one person that came through. You put up content, you know, be it good, be it mediocre, indifferent, or otherwise, right? And for some reason, YouTube decides that they want to take away views. Now, I got an idea of why they would take away views or whatever the case may be. Sometimes if you watch from the same computers or if you have the same group of people, let's say you got somebody in the household who's watching your videos and you watch your videos, YouTube may deem it um, to be the case where they take the views away, they see it as spamming and stuff like that. And my thing to them is this. You know, if, if I put my time, my energy, my effort into being on the platform and I put out a video and I got the video and the video views and the watch time and the minutes, honestly, and you just arbitrarily take it away, you can do that. I'm, I'm somebody who's prepared for that as well, you know, especially when the engagement on YouTube is not what it is on other platforms like the Instagrams, the Facebooks even Twitter or at certain moments you know YouTube has you know people on it they have a bunch of subscribers and stuff like that they have people who watch tutorials and stuff like that but you know if you just want social engagement there are other platforms for that for creators there are platforms right now you know that are springing up for creators you know left and right you know or at least they're trying to you know make things more you know uh, creative friendly the problem with what YouTube does sometimes is you know still being vague and they say you know well maybe you know, uh, we're going to be more transparent. It hurts the platform. I mean, I know YouTube wants to go into a subscription model, which they already are with YouTube Red and YouTube TV. You know, but the problem when it comes is that, you know, it hurts them as far as what the, the creators and stuff like that they can organically build it and, and bring up or whatever the case may be. Now, like I said, maybe I'm reaching, maybe this is a far stretch. Maybe YouTube has, you know, all the creators it needs. Maybe it has the top people and this is not a this is not an issue or a big deal, but I know a lot of us have, you know, struggled with this. You put out content, you know, you put stuff together, you know, you try to, you know, uh, release it to the people, be it a live stream, be it an upload or whatever the case may be, and then they just decide to take the views away. Now, <clears throat> if you want to take subscribers away, fine. You know, if you want to take away live streaming capabilities, that's fine too. You know, but when somebody earns views, when somebody earns watch time and then you take it away with no explanation and then you have to do videos like this because this is not the first time I've done a video like this and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, mysteriously, my watch time is back. You know, and then there's people who, who you know, try to monetize this stuff or, you know, use social influence about this and have campaigns behind this stuff. And, and, it, and it gets annoying because it's like at the end of the day, you know, there could be some human oversight of, of, of this thing, you know, not just doing it in the algorithm and saying, OK, that's what it is. I mean, I think that's probably a little bit lazy, but like I said, it's not my platform. I don't run YouTube or whatever the case may be. But it's annoying if you put your time, your effort, your energy into this platform, if you're on there, if you're doing things and then you get, you know, views taken away, not just one or two views. I'm not talking about five or ten views. I'm talking about you get like 500, almost a thousand views just taken away. That could be a detriment to somebody. Maybe somebody reached a milestone or something like that. <clears throat> and I know the numbers don't tell the whole story, but if you earn those numbers, if you put the time in, the work in, the energy, the effort, that should be respected. If it's not going to be respected, that's something that'll kill the platform automatically. I don't care what anybody says to me. I don't care what anybody espouses, what videos you put out. I don't care if you parade all the top YouTubers out. If you start taking away views with no explanation and people start putting in work and that becomes more of a pattern and more of a trend, YouTube will die. It will die. Because what's the point? You know, like I said, some at that point, it's probably not even about getting paid. It's the principle of it all. You know, because if I don't get a dime off of YouTube, I could at least take those numbers and that engagement and take it to advertisers and sponsors and say, hey, look, I'm getting in front of this many people. I'm getting this many views or these are my metrics and my analytics. You know, this is where I stand on this platform. 
do you want to do business? And that's one of the ways you can, you can, you know, monetize in a different way. But if you take that away or if the numbers are not right or maybe a person is smaller on the spectrum, because I know I'm, a, I'm definitely a smaller YouTuber, you know, it's pale in comparison to many others, which is fine. But if you don't allow a person to keep their numbers, their true numbers, or if there's something wrong with your analytics, let it be known. But, of course, it's a big corporation, so this is not an issue, you know, for them. You know, it's not something that, you know, goes anywhere for them. But there's a lot of us out here who've had that thing, you know, where you put out a, a good video, a decent video, and all of a sudden you come back and views are taken away. For me, you know, if, if it's one view taken away, that matters. You know, but when you have 500, 1,000, <clears throat> sometimes two, 3,000 views just taken away because they felt you were spamming or they felt there was some malicious thing. There's no bots watching my channel. You know, if I watch my channel to see my video, to give my channel views on my smartphone, my tablet, my computer, or somebody else does it for me, then that's just what it is. I mean, it, 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 it's something that can be discouraging at times because at the end of the day, you want to know that when you're putting out content, regardless of how good it is, regardless of how bad it is, whatever, you want to know that people are watching and they're engaging and that that's respected when it's not respected you know when it's not counted or if it's counted then it's taken away that can you know have a, a, a issue of confidence you can lose confidence in the platform now don't get me wrong if you're getting big checks and they take away you know views but you still the checks are still coming in you're not going to say anything but the reality is <clears throat> all of us are not getting paid and a lot of us our currency is the views a lot of us our currency is the subscriber to where you know when you put those numbers up and you stack them up against somebody else those are things that that matter those are things that you can convert and monetize you know to all the people that are coming through folks that are coming in and leaving why does this matter to you or why should this matter to you because if you don't know what your numbers are you can't measure where you're going or, or what the impact is you know if you don't see certain things certain metrics certain analytics now unless you're getting you know tons of fan mail tons of emails privately you know and you're somebody who, who measures it in in, in, in various ways <clears throat> you're really not going to know so like i said i'm not just ranting and, and, and complaining because realistically the amount of views that they took i can make back you know what I'm saying? You know, the amount of views that uh, YouTube is taking from me, I'm going to get back. I'm going to make back. That's not a problem. But when it comes down to dollars and cents, when it comes down to engagement, when it comes down to the principle of the matter, you know, if you work for something and you put in for something and, you, and you're saying, you know, based upon your metrics, YouTube, that this is what it is, you know, then honor that. You know, I'm saying if there's a, if there's a mistake or something made and you take away the views or you do something different, you know explain that when you don't explain that when you don't honor that it's just a matter of time and when i see youtube i like youtube i love youtube as far as a platform the engagement and things like that but stuff like this causes you to have to now look other places other ways other other situations or you know even create your own you know situation where you know hey you know do you have to go out and you know start your own tech thing or whatever the case may be you know as crazy as that sounds but you know, it's a situation where, you know, it's about the principle of it. You want it to be on it, you know. I mean not for you, you know, maybe everything is okay on your channel. Maybe you've never had views taken away from you. But just imagine um, any one of you channels out there, you know, anybody watching on any platform. <clears throat> just imagine you take five, six, seven, eight, nine years or, or, or even, even, you know, 30 days, 90 days, and you compile a whole host of watch time and views and subscribers, and then all of a sudden, it's taken away and it's arbitrary. And and this happens too much on YouTube. There's people who've had silver play buttons who've had their whole channel taken because of some arbitrary thing, you know, to the point where, you know, I don't know if YouTube is actually putting themselves in other people's shoes, you know what I'm saying, as far as somebody who's actually turning this into a business or somebody who's looking to meet other opportunities and stuff like that. I mean, of course you fight for it if it means something to you, but it just, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's crazy like that. You know, it's like, I mean, cause it comes down to like a confidence issue, you know, like a, a trust issue, you know, and you shouldn't totally trust any one particular platform, but you want to know that if you're putting out content and you're getting views and those are the views that are being count based upon the analytics and metrics of the site, that you're on 
you want that to be respected. If it's not respected, where do you go from here? What do you do? I mean, what happens? I mean, you know, sometimes you get BS explanations or no explanations at all. <coughs> if you're a big YouTuber, maybe you'll get a response or maybe if you big enough to get a uh, have a YouTube representative, then maybe they'll respond back to you in kind or you'll get the corporate answer, you know, this, 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 that, and the third, or go check out guidelines, or, you know, we'll get back to you eventually, and never do, or you can call this hotline in India, no offense to the Indian people, you know, but, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy, because, you know, and, and, and then I guess it, it pays into something, too, about being aware, and, and, and you know, a paying attention to the guidelines, and, and, and looking at the different changes, and not being like so set on one particular social media platform. I know Green Bay Wacky has talked about that for those folks that don't know Green Bay Wacky, awesome channel, check him out. You know, he's talked about how, you know, different things that have happened on YouTube will cause us to have to actually, um, you know, look in other places, other ways, you know, you have to. Now, now in 2018, if you're just stuck on one platform, if you're just trying to make it on one platform, you're setting yourself up for failure. I mean, even myself, I have to start looking into Facebook, and I don't trust Facebook. I don't trust Facebook at all. But I'm coming to the point where I'm going to have to start looking into, you know, um, doing things on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. I was on Twitter. Twitter didn't really work out for me. I could have pushed it, but that's another story. But the point is, you want to be on multiple platforms. You want to have multiple avenues of, you know, uh, engagement, multiple ways of putting your content out there. You know, even just, you know, beyond social media, or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> Not that you want to spend too much money and add, you know, prints or television or whatever like, but you want to know, you know, about different ways that people get stuff out there. You know, and, you know, as far as YouTube goes, you know, I mean, they, they, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not discouraging for me anymore, you know, because I, I, I know the game. I see, I see where it's going. I know YouTube has other interests. I know they have other things going on. I know that even for the, they have a, a, a host of creators and stuff like that that they're going to push. You can tell me anything you want, but anytime I look on YouTube Red, I see differently. Anytime I look at the top YouTubers or mid-level YouTubers, I see differently. And some of that is a combination of maybe some people who don't have the great content or haven't made the connection yet or whatever the case may be. You know, so for some people coming back, forth, in and out, this is not just a rant. This is a concern. This is a, a real situation. You know, with folks dealing with this and stuff like that. I mean, like I said, some people, this may not affect you. This may not be relevant to you. You may not care about this, and that's fine. You know, I'm not just speaking this because this is my channel. I'm speaking this because this has happened to many people as far as, um, you know, YouTube and, you know, just them taking away views, you know, because it happens. And sometimes you really never know why. It's, it's so arbitrary. It's so vague. You know, it's not, it's not really a clear situation, a clear cut why you know, they would do something like that or, you know, what's what's going on. And then, you know, when you get in contact with them or you do get a hold of somebody, now it's a glitch. Okay, fine. If it's a glitch, if it's a problem, if it's something that needs to be addressed, then address it. But the reality is it's never really addressed because it's blamed on the algorithm. But if you as the people have set up this algorithm to do certain things and it's not doing what it's supposed to do, then change the algorithm to let people know what's going on. <clears throat> you let certain people know, maybe not everybody, I don't know. I mean, and then you get into the whole thing, how much time do you want to spend on social media? How much time do you want to spend on YouTube? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an awesome platform. It's a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that you, you know, that you learn from YouTube, and I'll continue to learn from YouTube. But the more and more the stuff like this happens, the more and more I have to say to myself, wow. I have to really look into other platforms. I have to really make sure that if this goes to the wayside, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, stuff that I've been taught from the beginning by some of the old timers, some of the older YouTubers or older people on Google Plus and other platforms. They said you got to build up your own thing. You have to, you know, because Mel Mel could be gone tonight, today, this, right after this, this live stream or whatever. I mean, not to knock YouTube or whatever, but I know that if you don't say anything, if you don't speak on it, then it'll be like this. Why am I doing this live stream? Because the last time this happened, I had to do a live stream like this. And then all of a sudden, YouTube picked it up in the algorithm and gave me my views back. I don't know if that's going to be the case this time, but it's annoying that, you know, this is one of the ways that you have to do it. These are one of the ways you have to speak to them. You know, you almost have to speak to them in a public forum to say, you know, I'm speaking to you directly, but indirectly to say this is you know, what's up, you know, so, I mean, because if I call you, I don't know if you're going to answer, or maybe I'm not big enough, or, 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 you know, significant enough as a YouTuber, and like I said, this is not solely about me, this is about you folks out there, if you have issues, if you have problems, complaints, concerns, 
you know what make the videos you know reach out to them you know i mean don't go to the offices i don't i don't agree rushing to the office i mean it's sensitive times with that you know especially with the stuff that happened out in california you know there's a lot of tension with that you know but if you got to write an email a letter make a phone call you know do that first you know if they set up a meeting then that's that's what that is you know like i said i know this may seem you know very insignificant to a lot it may seem like this is out there some people may agree with it some may not you know but all i know is that if if i'm on a platform and i'm putting out content i want the views counted and if the views are counted if by your metrics if the views are counted by your metric you the platform owner or operators you know i would expect that if i come back you know the same views are there you know uh a year from now a month from now with youtube you don't know i can tell you honestly there's been times where i've had views and then all of a sudden out of the sky blue views are gone and there's no reason for it there's no rhyme or reason for it there's no real explanation they're gone like a thief in the night you know it's like a ghost or something or like thanos you know the avengers he got the infinity gauntlet and snapped his fingers and half of views are gone you know and then you got to get the fight you know the youtube avengers and fight to get your views back and go back in time and find out if you can get the damn views you know i mean that's just one of the things you know and you know it it, it is what it is it is what it is because you know for the flip side of it i can't knock the fact that if you want exposure if you want to learn how to Put together great content if you want to learn how to engage with audience youtube is the platform for it however <clears throat> moving forward for engagement and for you know real opportunities uh it's it's gonna have to be a situation where you look beyond youtube and like i said you don't have to believe me you don't have to listen to me you don't have to care about what i'm saying you'll see what i'm talking about in another year or so you know another year or two you know you'll see exactly what i'm talking about you know as far as the changing landscape and what's going to become you know relevant as far as social media is concerned as far as online content is concerned youtube will have its place it will dominate because of the fact that it's owned by google and you know alphabet and it has all these corporate sponsors and youtube will be out there as far as youtube television and youtube red and all the paid subscription stuff is concerned but as YouTube, the platform for the creators and stuff, things things are changing, they have changed, and they will change drastically. You know, <clears throat> I think YouTube is not done with a lot of things that it wants to do, but it's going to hurt a lot of good creators, a lot of people that have followed the guidelines, a lot of people that are out there trying to actually put forward, you know, the best, you know, their best foot forward, you know, to make sure that, you know, they're in line with what's going on. You know, and I, and I say to folks out there, I say to the YouTube people out there, you know, just... You know, respect respect the rules and, and, and guidelines that you've laid down. Respect, you know, the situations that you put forth. You know, I know it may not seem like much. I, I know it may seem like overwhelming or it's something you get back to. Maybe you have other interests. I don't know, you know, but there's people that have put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy, you know, into this platform. And, you know, it'll be a shame if they're not really, you know, honored or respected on that merit alone. Now, I, and I know you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I know it's like renting a space <clears throat> you know you, you don't owe anybody anything but the thing about it is don't let people come into the space if you're not really going to honor your own word or the things that you say or things are still going to be vague after you said that they will be transparent they will be open you know they'll be honest and whatnot you know because it shouldn't be a situation where this shouldn't be a live stream this shouldn't be a conversation this really shouldn't be you know but it is you know it is something that i talk about i have to talk about because you know at the end of the day this is something that's happened and it keeps happening and it happens to other people you know and i don't have any negative comment content i don't have any content that's um derogatory or, or homophobic or you know or xenophobic or whatever the case may be i don't have any hate speech on my on my platform on my platform on my channel you can check all my videos but you know for some reason you know it, it is what it is there's no email no notification just you know what it is so it it kind of comes to that point where you you wonder you, you look you say to yourself you know um i don't know we got to do better we got to do better you know and I, I just say this because you know maybe this is the only way i know how without really getting too deep and in detail or, or sounding mad or angry or whatever towards youtube I'm, because i'm not angry i'm not mad i'm not even upset <coughs> i'm just saying be more transparent be open be honest you know and if not, it's cool. You know, there's other places to go. There's other platforms I can seek out. There's other opportunities and stuff like that. I'm not hurting 
I'm not hurting for attention online. Believe me, I'm not hurting for attention. I'm not hurting for views. I'm not hurting for subscribers. I'm not hurting for money. I'm not saying I can't use money. I'm not saying I wouldn't appreciate subscribers or views or whatever the case may be. But I'm not, you know, like like the online thing, you know, it's not going to, it's not my life. You know, this is just a piece of it. So, you know, it's, it, but I, I see the principle of it. This is about the principle of people putting out content, people doing things and, and having it on it. You know, it should be on it. You know, I mean, and if you're going to count the views, you know, and you're going to give the person the views based upon the metric and things that they're putting together, just honor that, you know, let it be, you know, because there's other platforms out there. And the reason that's one of the reasons I say this as well. There's other platforms out there. The views that you have are the views that you have today, tomorrow, and the next day, you know, not, okay, I got views, I got this amount of views today, and then there's 50 views taken away tomorrow, 100 views given back the, the next day, and then 500 views taken the day after, and then 1,000 views that's given back, and then taken back, I don't know, you know, I really don't know, you know, like I said, hopefully this doesn't sound too much like a rant to you, you know, hopefully this is a situation where I'm making a lot of sense, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just, I'm, I'm not mad, though. I'm not mad. It's just, I don't know, YouTube, we got to do better. We got to do better. So thank you for all the people for watching. I'm not going to keep you on here long. You know, this is just something I wanted to talk about real quick. You know, um, I got things to do. Hopefully, everything is all right with you. Hopefully, all of your views are being counted. You know, hopefully, you know, um, the content that you put out there, you know, as far as everything goes, is being, um, you know, received very well, you know, and, um, if you are in contact with YouTube, let them know that they got some issues. They got some they got some explaining to do. And if they don't want to explain, that's cool too. You know, there's other places and, and platforms to go to. You know, <clears throat> there's other platforms that can be built and will be built in the future. So, you know, there's no hard feelings. There's really no hard feelings. It's just one of those things is about the principle of it all. You know, I mean, any of you could let me know if I'm crazy or whatnot. I mean, this is kind of funny though because... This is one of the very few live streams that I've done where nobody's actually commented, but I don't know if that was me. Anyway, take care, be safe, spread love. It's the Brooklyn way.